Do we have any baggage? Because you do. If you're alive, you have a history. You have experiences. You have things that have formed you, that have marked you, things that you think the way you think because of. Um, and so what I want us to do today is ask the question, I know I have baggage, what do I do with it? One of the most debilitating things in balancing life, trying to make everything come in, one of the most debilitating things is having something in your past that chains you and holds you, and you can't move forward. And it can be a lot of things, and so I'm not going to just give you a check-off list if you've got this, this, and this, because it's emotional, it's spiritual, it's physical. There are all types of things that come along in our life. It can be relationships that have not been what they should, parents, fathers, mothers, whatever. All of this stuff, and we get to a place where we're trying to function today, and I watch this a lot in people that grew up, and particularly maybe if they had a really hard life and, and, and they didn't have a wonderful parent relationship and now they're trying to be parents and they don't know what to do because they have a skewed view and they're bringing all of this in and and we watch this in life and so the question for me today is not do I have any obviously yes I do and the question is what do I do with it how do I deal with it how do I balance my past with today and keep a forward thought of where I'm going because that's really what I'm talking about in unpacking the bags that we carry. Um, me and Sandra have started this awesome camping adventure again. We did it when we were young, and then we went through the whole motel and camper years. And I'm not, I'm not judgmental, but if your camping experience involves air conditioning, heater, and a flush toilet, you're not camping. Okay? You're not. I don't care if you drag it behind the truck and it looks really cool. That's not camping. Camping involves... Camping. And so we went on our first excursion this year that we'd been on in years where you just, we're going to the mountains, we're not taking, you know, we, we got a tent and cooking stuff. And, and so we packed. And boy, did we pack. We could have basically went to, to South America and back on all the stuff we had shoved in the back of my truck. It was like, yeah, survival kit. I mean, we were, we were prepared. It, you would have thought that the apocalypse had come and we were bugging out. So much stuff. And, and that's interesting. Does anybody ever go on a trip and you think, I'm going to be gone for three or four days. How much stuff do I need? And when you get there, you've got like a truckload and you're dragging a trailer. And you realize, well, maybe I didn't need all of this. What I'm talking about is the same experience with our emotional and all of the other baggage that we drag along. We're trying to go forward and go where the Lord wants us to go. We're trying to, to work through today, and we've got so much stuff packed in the truck, and we're carrying so much in the backpack that we don't need. We need to just, and so our second trip, we trimmed it down. Third trip, we were like on survival mode. We had a bag of pork rinds and coffee. <laughs> Said, we're just going to eat what we kill. No, we really didn't. We killed a hamburger joint, I'll say that. Uh, but you begin to realize that you don't need all of this. And in fact, the more stuff you surround yourself with, the more stuff you try to carry through life, all of this stuff, it waits and you find that you're not going anywhere. And you're just stuck. And I have... I have known people and dealt with people that have had a, a traumatic experience, tragedy, whatever in their past, and they never move away from it. It's continually from that day forward, the guiding principle of their life. And you can ask them 30 years later how they're doing, and they will tell you exactly what happened 30 years ago and why they can't let go.